meet Sir David Attenborough, a legendary naturalist and broadcaster who at 97 continues to inspire the world with his passion for the natural world. You've doubtlessly heard his soothing voice in one of his epic documentary series like Blue Planet or Planet Earth, revealing the awe-inspiring wonderment of our planet. But this icon also has dietary, mindset, and lifestyle secrets that have kept him sharp and energetic, just three years shy of 100. To truly appreciate the brilliance that is Sir David Attenborough, we must first understand his origins. David was born on May 8, 1926, in Isleworth, a town in West London, England. He was the middle of three brothers and is now the sole survivor of his siblings. His older brother, the renowned film producer and actor, Sir Richard Attenborough passed away in 2014, and his younger brother, John Attenborough, in 2012. From an early age, David developed a deep-rooted love for wildlife, exploring the wonders of nature in the Leicestershire countryside. I was brought up in the Midlands, and uh, I looked for fossils as a kid, and I've never stopped, really. Our icon's career trajectory was set in motion when he won a scholarship to study natural sciences at Cambridge. His journey into broad Broadcasting began in the early days of BBC, where he magically stumbled upon his dream role as a producer and presenter. His distinctive voice and contagious passion for the subject matter quickly made him a household name in the industry. With more than seven decades under his belt, Sir David Attenborough's career path has been marked by groundbreaking achievements and numerous accolades. His vision and dedication led to the creation of landmark documentaries such as The Living Planet, the Trials of Life, and The Blue Planet. Through these productions, he has educated and inspired a whole generation of wildlife enthusiasts with the wonders of the natural world. His longevity spanning almost a century makes him a special first-hand observer of the changes to our natural world and our loss of wildness, biodiversity, and planetary stability. He can speak directly to the climate crisis we find ourselves in and has used his voice to amplify the message of urgency to make big changes. Yeah, well, the crime has been committed, and, uh, and it so happens that, that I'm of such an age that I was able to see it beginning. Sir Dave is endlessly cool. He's made an art of consistently finding new ways to make himself better and remain relevant with age. By consistently improving his mindset and diet, he has mastered what it means to be evergreen. And he has some important tips to help you do the same. Let's talk about David's mindset. Despite facing a less than encouraging appraisal early in his career, Sir David Attenborough, with his intelligence and determination, emerged as a Hall of Fame figure in the field of television production and environmental advocacy. Here are three key mindset tips from Dave, a short guide to exuding charm, confidence, and charisma at any age. Throughout his career, David has fearlessly addressed vital issues such as climate climate change, and biodiversity loss, even in the face of contrarians and naysayers. In an interview in 2017, the award-winning narrator explained that he is not bothered about aging, only about potentially losing his mind. Or in his words, going gaga. David admits that he is not as sharp as he once was, but his occasional struggle to remember words is not nearly enough to keep this night down. Sir Dave has never shied away from confronting complex long-term challenges which ultimately lead to meaningful change. In 2020, Sir David Attenborough made his debut on Instagram. At the age of 94, his decision was not for the sake of appearing trendy, but because he saw it as a tool in the fight against climate change. His account now has more than 6 million followers, and he has galvanized the youth of the world to take action, proving that bold undertakings often lead to big rewards. Throughout his career, David has demonstrated a relentless pursuit of knowledge. In the 1950s, he engaged in debates about filmmaking techniques, and during the making of Zoo Quest, he insisted on using color for better clarity, embracing the challenges of color film that many were afraid to delve into. His continuous learning and adaptability showcase the enduring value of staying updated in an ever-changing world. You are never too 
to all to learn something new. In the midst of a rather uneventful afternoon in 1950, David, then 24 years old, had an epiphany. He realized that a future spent proofreading children's science books, his career at the time, was not the destiny he yearned for. Driven by a desire for something more, he took a leap of faith. Responding to an advertisement in the Times for a job as a producer at BBC Radio, he initially faced rejection. However, Mary Adams, his future mentor, saw potential in him and invited him to train for a similar role at BBC Television, which was just coming into existence. And then the people in the BBC said, why don't you try, we've got this new thing just starting it called television, would you like to try? And I said, well, why not? In 1952, he embarked on a new journey at the BBC. And the rest, as they say, is history. Sir Dave has been knighted twice, garnered 29 industry awards, including four Emmys, and received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the UN's Environment Programme. He also holds a unique record as the only person to have won BAFTA awards for films in black and white, color, high definition, 3D, and 4K resolution. If you think that's impressive, David has more than 20 species of plants and animals named after him, including the black-eyed satyr butterfly, also known as the Euptychia attenboroughi. In numerous interviews, David has credited his passion for his work as the main source of his success and longevity. He's been quoted saying, it's so joyful and so important to live longer meaningfully. The award-winning narrator has also said he sees no reason whatsoever why he can live past 100. With only three years left to go, he seems to be doing something right. But what? Is it his diet? Exercise? Genes? Well, let's take a look at what David eats. In recent years, David has dramatically shifted his narrative to become a vocal advocate for reducing meat consumption as a means to combat environmental degradation. If we all had a largely plant-based diet, we would need only half the land we use at the moment. That's why you may be surprised to hear that David is neither a vegan nor a vegetarian. He says, I eat fish and chicken, and my conscience does trouble me. But by and large, I've become much more vegetarian over the past few years than I thought I would ever be. I still eat meat on occasion, but by and large, I, I don't eat meat in the way that I did. David understands the importance and benefit of a healthy, plant-based diet and is clearly leading by example. It's not only great for our bodies, but also great for our planet. David knows firsthand about the impact our heavy reliance on meat is having on the Earth, creating increased pollution, greenhouse emissions, overfishing, and excessive land and water use. As regards to exercise, if you ask him, David will tell you he doesn't work out at all. But the truth is, wildlife presenters spend a considerable amount of time in the field, where they need to hike, trek, and travel to remote locations, lugging heavy equipment along the way, in order to film animals in their natural habitats. David has been doing all that for around 80 years, and it has left him in an enviable condition and great shape. Away from his health, David spends the majority of his time urging the public to do everything they can to help protect the planet. We are totally dependent upon the natural world for every mouthful of food we eat and every lungful of breath. That we take. If we behave better, we have the power to make everything better for everything else. What do you think of the legendary Sir David Attenborough? Let us know in the comments.